real quick yes this is a collab video make sure you go and check out his channel the link is in the description below maybe you tell him dr zizi sent you yes this video might be a little bit cringy because we tried to speak over the internet and it was sometimes difficult to get a word across but regardless there's a lot of great first-hand information for those who you guys who are planning to go study medicine in russia check it out and let's get to the video so Aziz, tell us about the weather what was your experience when you first time came in russia all right great 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 question Abish. the thing is that yes russia was cold man it was cold uh because you know uh, sri lanka and india both of us are like very tropical countries and we have summer all around but uh, a lot of people come with the misconception is russia is only cold and it has no season it's not true russia has four seasons whereas you know our countries don't really we only have the rainy seasons and we have hot season but russia has four seasons the winter autumn summer and spring and uh, winter is the most cold of course but the thing is i know some places in russia where temperatures fall down to minus 20 now the question is if it's deadly and if you cannot live of course not all the hostels have great heaters and stuff so you're always warm plus you can buy like very good jackets and stuff which will help you go through the cold but yes the weather is a bit more bit uh, not a bit the weather is a lot more colder than your countries for me i actually found that really interesting because for the first time in my life i was actually experiencing seasons and i really loved it so for me i think after living in russia i actually enjoy the seasons much more and actually enjoyed the cold as well because during the cold i would actually go all the way to the mountains and do like snowboarding and stuff so yeah i mean because of the weather i changed as well it taught me so many new things what about you in your case with ubesh like how cold does it get in in your area and uh, what about you did you have difficulty adapting to the cold how how was the whole experience tell me about it and the place where i'm studying you find here like uh, four four type of uh, uh, weather there is a rain there is a uh, cold there is a sun so you find here um, like uh, like four type of weather but of course you find here the cold uh, duration is uh, is a lengthy what, what about the snow uh, was, the, was uh, did you see snow for the first time in russia and how was the feeling because a lot of people have not seen snow i mean people who come from india and sri lanka we don't see snow so how was the entire feeling of seeing snow how did you did you like it what did you do yeah i i I saw here the snow for the first time when I came here in January 2014 because in India we don't have snow. I saw first time snow in Russia. That was really a good uh, experience. Nice, nice, nice man. Okay, let me ask you another question. What did you think about the nature of the people over here, over there? Like what did you think about the Russians, the locals? How what kind of people are they? Did you like them? Did you hate them? What's what's the whole story behind it? What do you, what do you think? So people in Russia they are very kind they are very cultured they are very uh, polite but all you need as a international student all you need to ask them all you need to uh, go to them and ask them for a communication if you have a good communication skill you can ask them they are always ready for uh, help and they are not racist at all if you are uh, adopting Rus russian culture and if you are uh, talking in the way they are talking so it's not difficult to leave here yeah i mean definitely i found the same thing i mean the the people in russia were amazing the thing is uh, as you said like you know actually there are bad apples everywhere every country has good people and bad people and i know media always blows it out of proportion saying that russia is a racist country the people over there are racist in my case i found a lot of people uh, there were people who didn't like me russians there were people who liked me and there were different reasons for that like they weren't racist per se it's just that you know it all depends on how you speak to people and how they speak to you so that's about it if you give respect and if you speak to them nicely they will be nice to you of course all the way there's always bad apples so definitely be careful but nothing as serious that you have to be so scared to go to russia so yeah russian people i love them amazing people tell us about the festival what was the festival when you studied in russia and because as i know in russia right now there is a one of the largest festival uh, is new year as uh, in many christian countries second question here is victory day which they celebrated on uh, uh, 9th of may so tell us about you what was your experience about the festival yeah the amazing question yeah russia is is an amazing country with a lot of different festivals um of course christmas being one new year's being the second one in fact there's an interesting fact russia celebrates their christmas on the 7th of january not on the 25th of december it's the orthodox christmas i think ubesh has made a video on it and i'll just put a link in the description below so you can check their christmas out it's very interesting and they also have this day called victory day which is on the 9th of may 
where the whole thing, the whole roads are filled with parades and people are like taking pictures of the martyrs of the entire war. It's really interesting to see how the difference in cultures that my country has from Russia. And uh, at the end of the day, when you go through these festivals, you kind of absorb the culture much more. And I actually enjoyed that because whenever I used to go with all a lot of my Russian friends, I used to enjoy going to these festivals and actually understanding the entire culture deep down from the roots. And that's what made me like Russia even more. So there you have it guys, that was the video. If you haven't checked out the part one and two of the video, make, I'll put the link in the description below, go check it out. I hope if you're, that video helps, if you're gonna go study in Russia, maybe this will be like a guideline for you to understand what exactly is going on. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below and ask me if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, peace.